this is Tommy Rant's RV. Today, oh, we're going to discuss something I never thought I'd be discussing, especially on video. Uh, but discuss it, I will. So, open your minds, raise your toilet lids, and jump in. Because what are we talking about today? Bidets for RV use. Yes, bidets. What's a bidet? Americans aren't uh, generally real familiar with them. Um, the people who have traveled widely are they're um, in use in Japan, um, Italy. Um, it's almost a standard in Italy and Japan. Uh, how long have they been around? About 300 years. Bidet is a French word. Um, comes from the old French. Um, that's about all I want to talk about about the history because let's get down to the matter. Let's get down to what this is. Instead of explaining a, a bidet, uh, I'm going to give it three alternate terms I came up with. The number one being fanny washer. Coming in at number two, uh, we have tail washer. And number three, only slightly crass, is butt shower. They all mean the same thing. That should pretty well define a bidet for you. Who uses them? Humans do. Bidets are not just for women. Um, bidets are for humans. Little children, males, females, young, old, everybody can benefit from these, especially in an RV. We talk about toilets all the time on, people do on YouTube videos all the time. Black tanks, toilets, toilet paper. Uh, deodorants for toilets, everything for toilets. I got something different here. I've seen a couple of RV videos on this, uh, but that's it. But uh, there are quite a few on uh, home bidets because now a bidet does not have to be a remote attachment. The first one I ever saw, um, our family traveled one time when I was about 11 years old and I think it was in Portugal. Um, the bathroom in the hotel had a shower, bathtub, a toilet, a sink, and this other thing protruding off the wall that's um, totally foreign to me. I uh, happened to ask my mother about it, and I said, what's that for? And she said, don't worry about it, that's just for women. Uh, and that's what, I, that's what I was ingrained with and, and always kind of thought. I uh, know these are for everybody. Uh, they're becoming more mainstream all over the world, um, even in the U.S. Um, in the homes of some wealthy people, they have elaborate bidets. Um, that and, and a bidet can be an integral part of your toilet, which leads to the first product I'm going to show you. Uh, because my dear sister was kind enough to send me a couple of these. Um, this one is for home use. This is not what this video is about. But that's what they look like mounted to a, a conventional toilet. There's a dial there in the front that you turn, when you turn that, water comes out in the stream from behind you. Uh, the other dial is for cleaning the nozzle. That's a different matter. This one is a Neo 120. Um, by Lux Bidet, as you can see. These are only about 30 bucks, 30 to 50 bucks on Amazon. And you can put, I did this yesterday. I mounted one in our home, one of our home toilets. Um, and it took about 15 minutes. It comes with everything you need. You just, uh, a plus one attachment that um, is necessary for the plumbing. And, and I mean, it's, I didn't need any tools. Um, if I had needed a wrench, there are two of them that come with it. It comes with a stainless steel water supply line. Um, and it's great. We, we started liking the thing immediately. Uh, what are the benefits of a bidet? Oh, at home, yeah. 
RV even more. What's one of the big problems with an RV black tank? It's toilet paper. Toilet paper, yeah. Oh, it clogs the system, clogs the, the toilet, uh, the hole in the toilet, it can clog the black tank, it can uh, cause all kinds of problems. You gotta use a certain kind. Everybody talks about this stuff, but uh, they don't talk about alternatives. Uh, this is definitely one. Uh, what you can do with a bidet, man, woman, or child, um, is uh, in an RV. You can mount one in your RV. If you have a casita, and this is true of many RVs, you will not be able to mount one of these on the toilet that came with it. Um, because they attach, um, I'll show you a quick diagram on the home use one. Yeah, you take the toilet seat off, this thing goes up and it has the little holes in it that line up with your toilet seat mounting hole, and then you attach it all back together using the original toilet uh, hardware. So, if you want to put one in your casita in particular, you're going to have to get a different toilet or you're going to have to get a different bidet attachment um, and there are a multitude of them on Amazon uh, but I have an easier answer and I think it's even better this brand is well known around the world and in Japan it's a Toto uh, that's the device you see it right there that white thing with the little extension coming out of it and you see a bunch of Japanese and you know pictures uh, this box has no English on it neither do the instructions not a problem let me show you the device it comes in this little bag by the way more about that in a minute because that white plastic thing hooked to the strap is uh, um, of some importance it helps so this one requires a um, double-a battery in the bottom uh, what you use the white thing for if you don't have anything else is to unscrew the little battery compartment so you do that you pop that out you put a double-a battery in there I'll save you some trouble and tell you positive end goes up as you hold this with that opening up drop a double-a in there with a positive end up and then use your little thing tighten this back up it's ready for use these are single use um, to the extent that uh, because you have to fill this with water you don't have to fill it but you have to put some water in it so um, if you had um, a business to do um, you would fill this up with water and the way you do that is turn it over like this on the other end from the battery this is actually the top and there's a big hole there to put water in the um, then you extend this part of the bottom <clears throat> which also has an, a little extension arm on it Here on, here on the power button side, here we go, I'm with you now. Um, there are orifices coming out of the very end of this thing that would, if I aimed it at the camera right now, it would shoot at the camera. <coughs> There's two settings. You can change them by doing uh, this, or, oh, I just pulled the whole thing out of here. Doesn't matter, went right back in. Anyway, there's a slider on here. You can do a gentler stream or a stronger, more concentrated stream. Um, so uh, once you put water in there, it holds about half a cup. You don't need that much. Uh, you might sometimes, but you don't need that much. If you're worried about water, um, boondocking or, or whatever, um, you can probably get away with two or three ounces. I don't know. Uh, depends on personal use but anyway so uh, remember the orifices are on the same side as the on button you turn the you 
hit that button that sounds like that if you could hear it and uh, you just while you're seated on the toilet you just simply reach behind you making sure that that button is facing forward uh, and therefore the orifice when you push that button it will squirt water out and it just kind of aim is not an issue it just kind of naturally goes to the right place um, and, and so what it eliminates is in particular that initial um, activity once one's business is done uh, grabbing a big wad of toilet paper so you can not only accomplish the task but um, protect your hand from getting uh, overly involved in the task you don't have to worry about that here so you don't need that big wad of toilet paper at all just a squirt from this thing will do it um, you can use more up to half a cup of water you um, I understand the battery lasts quite a while the little bag uh, you put it in is big enough to store an extra battery none of that's an issue I suppose in a casita or any RV you could probably fill it up and uh, if you have a, a convenient place to set it oh you could probably figure out a way to do that where you didn't have to empty this after every use but that's the way I've been doing it uh, so far and that's the way it's intended you, you just get enough water to use it you use it and then you dump the excess out so it's not stored inside of it uh, there's kind of a vacuum to these so that when, when you the easiest way to extend it is to open it first and then you just gra you just grab this lip here there's a convenient place to grab it and do that um, when you're done you fold the extension wand back in and still with it open you push it up like that and, and empty it and close it up back in the bag. I'm going to keep mine um, for the casita in that compartment in front of the sink. Probably, I haven't I haven't tried it and I haven't checked to see if it'll fit in that little toilet paper compartment, but either one um, or just set it on the sink. Um, yeah, this is a game changer. Use a lot less paper and you can actually do this without putting any paper down your toilet. Uh, once you've cleaned, uh, use the clean feature on that. It's just a matter of drying off after that. Uh, if you want to do that with toilet paper, fine. Um, conceivably, there are other methods like uh, a fan, hair dryer, um, some kind of towel that you only use for that, whatever. Um, a paper towel, wh whatever. But uh, the point is, um, uh, under you know sanitary conditions you, you you could conceivably never put any toilet paper uh, into your tank uh, into your toilet again therefore never into your black tank so that solves a huge problem um, other benefits um, hygiene it's a big plus this is not something they do in third world countries uh, maybe they did it one time don't know um, the modern world is using these. We have a, a kind of a mental block about them in America because most of us have never used one and many of us have never seen one. Um, the, these are different uh, totally from the old school bidet that I saw that was mounted to the wall and was a separate unit from the toilet. These things, um, I actually like this portable one. This one is not a compromise. This works better, um, a little bit better than the home one with the attachment. There's all kinds of these, you, you, the home attachment ones. You can get them with heaters on them, dryers on them, lights on them. Uh, you can get it, go as far as you want. I'm not interested in that. I just want to accomplish this one thing. And, um, oh, uh, description on this one. Um, you can get them on Amazon. This is about 70 bucks, so it's not cheap. However, I understand there are cheaper ones. 
that are um, anywhere from about 20 bucks up to you know 50 or so that are great that were great I can't speak about any of them this is the only one I ever had I've never been in the bidet business before um, that, that you know that this is a toto to -T -O. Um, the numbers on the top of the box are significant it's y e w three five zero um, if you um, key that in on Amazon Toto or you can just type in Toto uh, portable bidet or just portable bidet and you'll find all kinds of brands all kinds of options um, I have a couple of notes here I want to look at and see if there's anything else I want to say about this um, I did I did a lot of study I did study for a few hours about bidets I can tell you a lot more about them than you'd ever want to know or that I ever wanted to know um, but I, I won't and um, uh, what else just remember they're fanny washers not bidets they're great Tommy Rance signing out bye